I'm looking in the spiritual realm, the realm of the glory. And the Holy Spirit take me to a point that the both of you have the similar condition. Someone that placed the both of you in battle, lack you in battle with water, the boat of your clothes were tied with strings and skulls, with God's skin cover your clothes. The boat of you lose weight rapidly. The boat of you cried. The both of you go through the similar pain. And today the curse still remain. You should marry long time ago. You should marry long time ago. You should marry long time ago. But the devil have chopped the three of you chop you. The first person chop you is a lesbian woman for a very long time. Now she's gone and then the lesbian spirit leave you and then a next man chop you. Bury your clothes in a hole. Dispatch Bakra spirit upon you. Because he said you are a rabbi, you thief him, you rob him and run away with stuff. They say the same thing about you, and the same thing about you. Free your hand because there's going to be some fire right now. How much money he said you take? Huh? Um, 30 tons or something like that. How much? 30 something thousand. Did you left him? Yes. Did he try to hurt you? Yes. Did you lose weight? Mm -hmm. Did he call you now? Call you back? Yes. Did he look in your back? Yes. Good. Did the merm did the, the mermaid spirit come for you? Yes. Did the mermaid spirit hold you down in a bed? Yeah. Good. Hold up your two hands. You're going to feel something flowing over you now as I touch you. Hold up your two hands, the three, both three of you. You're holy. Cabo Sada. I place fire in both of your feet. Take off your shoes. Take off your shoes quickly. Let me dig you from where they bury you. A gentleman is born November the 12th. Stopping you right now. 
I break the curse the black in you right now somebody say fire 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 I destroy the hands of that demon that destroying you right now every infirmity in your body I take it out right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth come out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I completely lose you right now I mend the broken pieces this morning I destroy the hands of the devil over your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I anoint your hands for greatness I anointed your hands for greatness I come on every spirit that moving in your tummy to leave you Somebody said, fire, 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 fire. I break every chain of bandage. Your complexion will change as from today. I'm seeing a 10 year visa coming to you. I'm seeing you traveling to the Lord. I'm seeing you having a wonderful son. I'm seeing a two bedroom unfinished house that you'll own. The Holy Spirit said, fire up the Holy Spirit will burn and destroy the hands of that demon. Today, I break you loose. And I set you free. And as long as you live, you'll never be broke again. So the Almighty God, you shall own your own business. Favor upon you. I send you to Canada where you belong. Somebody said, go to Canada right now. Go to Canada right now. Go to Canada right now. Favor should be upon you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Is this your child? Where is the father of these two children? In the womb. Where is the father of this one? In the womb. Put down the child. I'm seeing pure darkness over the house where you live. I'm seeing confusion. I'm seeing contention. And even the children are not happy. Why they are not happy? Um, one lady will leave said, I'm going to try if you hurt me. I'm going to keep eating them. Your next door neighbor trying yeah. to hurt you and your children. Yes. And to mess up your relationship. Yes. I'm looking for a tree, a, a robin tree. I'm looking for a mango tree. Because right now I'm seeing a knife that plays into the middle of a tree with your name on it. You don't sleep well at night. Am I right? Yes, you're right. You're tormented. You, you get up, you, you move around, you don't know what to do. It's like something taunting you yes. in your bed. Yes. So you can't stay in the bed. No. And you will come out and sit up to sleep. And when you sit up to sleep, you, you still can't sleep. Yes, can't sleep. There is a woman called Marva. Marva was born in the month of March the 21st, 1961. They spent $75,000 to burn down your house. Their house didn't burn down because the person that they sent to burn their house didn't come. So they spend our next money to destroy you. And then you, the spirit come for you and you feel things moving in your tummy. Yes. So the spirit enter you, go in your tummy and then swelling you up so you look like you're pregnant. Am I right? Yes, sir. And then the spirit start to move in your tummy. You wake you up at night so you, and torment you so you can't sleep. Yes, sir. Today, 
I move this demon. Today, I move this demon. Today, I break the chain of witchcraft over your husband, over your family, over your loved one, over your generation. What did they tell you? What instruction? Um, they say, uh, um, take the child. What did they tell you to do? Did they give you stuff to use? Yes. Did you use it? I know what you do, but I just ask you to, to let it flow. Did you use it? No. You didn't use it. No. How much did you pay? I don't pay any. But they give you stuff to use and to clear their house, but you didn't use it yourself. Where's the stuff now? Do you throw it away? Do you still have it? I know what happened, but I'll just ask you a question because I want it to flow. Do something for me. I want you to go home. And I want you to patrol your house in secret places. And whatever you know the prophet don't like. Take it out and after you take it out and clean out the house so nothing in there that the prophet don't like. Then you anoint the children and your husband with this and come back to me Tuesday. Go home now. Come here. seeing you looking in the mirror and you're looking at yourself and you, you're touching even your face and you wonder how you look like this. Am I right? And you said this is not you because this is not the future that you know you are. Yes, so sir. you know that there's a demon changing your looks and let you look like old woman. And you also start to look at your shape and you said this is not how I should look. And you say you want to put on liquid hips and you want yes. to stop. Am I right? Yes, I'm going to put on hip today. You don't have to take full pill. You don't have to take no pill, pill, or no powder to put on hip. Prophet can put on hip in a minute. He looks so pretty. Your husband is taking care of you. Take care Every day you wondered if Jezebel going to take away your husband. Am I right? Yes. Because you say you're not looking the pretty person that you used to look when your husband have you. Yes. So you're saying that pretty girls out there and your husband is eyes are running wild. Yes. And you say you can't trust him no more because of all the Jezebel that put on hips. And your one gone. I don't trust him. You don't trust him no more. You will trust him now after I finish. Because if he come out of line, the spirit of God that I place upon him now will kick him in line. He cannot come out again. Wherever you want to put on hips, touch it. Wherever you want to pull on weight, just touch it. Just touch. Just touch. Continue till I tell you to stop. Wherever you want to look beautiful, just touch. Just touch. Get me a prayer cloth. This demon that's sucking blood from your body so you feel weak and you feel frustrated and you feel like when you're walking you feel like you want to fall I curse that demon off you even yesterday when you're walking you can feel you're weak and you feel like you want to fall am I right? yes I place you with beauty 
I take off the veil that the devil, that the demon, that the Jezebel woman put on you. There is a woman that won your husband today with her daughter. Am I right? And you know it, and that's why you're frustrated and you wonder yes. if your husband gone over there. Yes. Am I right? The yes. woman go to a place and pay hundred and thirty thousand dollars to take your husband and give the daughter. Yes. yes. Today, I command the ugliest pato to be the daughter. I command the ugliest doppy to be the mama. And I command you to be the prettiest woman in the sight of your husband. I take off the veil of you. And I give you back your husband. I give you back your strength. I give you back your hips. I give you back your looks. And I command beauty of Almighty God to be upon you. Favor. They place you into a cage, into a cube, and feeling like a chicken. I take you from the cage and I lift the cobo sakada. Rekobo se kede be sa. Out, 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 out. Someone say fire, 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 fire. You're free. Set a mighty wave of glory over this congregation. A mighty wave of glory. A mighty wave of glory. A mighty wave of glory. Lion of Judah. A mighty wave of glory. that you want a child. What type of child do you want? Boy. You want a boy child. Why you want a boy child? You want your, your name to remain upon the earth? Yes, sir. Yes. And that's why you're drinking this tin stuff? <laughs> Give it to me. So you want a boy child out of this thing, tin stuff? Am I right? Yes. You want a child so bad that you even drink your way to church. <laughs> you will have a girl child at born the seventeenth of June. Go home. Come here. You have the anointing like Bob Marley. There is many, many multiple gifts upon you. But the devil have you into a hole. Very, very deep into a place in Chilani. You fight to survive. You fight to sleep. You fight to keep your relationship. You fight to eat. Everything about your life is a fight. Today, I break that chain of struggle that you're going to. Before this year ends, you will own your own business. You are you're a walking millionaire. But there is a veil over your life and there is a rope on your feet. Limit your limitation in life. Today, with one of my anointing kerchief, I break that yoke that the woman that say you and her daughter mix up in problem and she curse you. I curse her whole family. As you touch this kerchief, the anointing of the Lord will come upon you. 
and you will be a walking millionaire. There is a woman by the name of Sophia. Sophia Matthews. Sophia was born April the 10th, 1983. Whatever her mama placed upon you, I send it today back to Cinda. You also seek help because you want to get yourself out of problems. So you always ask questions. Who will help me or who will do this? But nothing happened. Today, you will spread this kerchief over your pillar. And tonight, it was the best night you ever sleep. As a big man, I'm seeing you kneeling down on your knee and you're crying to God with tears in your eyes to change your life. Many nights you say, God, I cannot live like this. I want a change. You even praying for the loved one because you say she's sick. Where she is? Bring her come. You will never, ever cry again for the rest of your life. Go home. You come home. I see you take up the Bible and you press it. You pray and you do all different types of things. You say, Lord, take away this veil from me. Take away this veil from me, Lord. Every sickness that is upon a woman is a demon, you know? Bring back the child. Every sickness that is upon a woman is a demon. And the sickness that is in your breast, that haunting you, that you wake up at night and wondering if they're going to cut off your breast or they're going to keep your breast. What the doctor said? Oh, at first they say it's suspicious. Then I take an X-test. At first they say it's suspicious. Yes, and yes. then I take an X-test. And, and then you take a next test. Yes, and they say it's cancer. And they say it's cancer now. And yes, and they book me for an operation. They book you for an operation. Yes, the 11th of next month. To do what? Maybe to take off the breast that what to I cut see. off the breast that God gave you. Yes. So how your husband gonna marry if you cut off the breast? Sir, I don't. I am the God that He let me. Stretch your hands towards her. Pull up your two hands, Spirit of Almighty God. Spirit of Almighty God. Spirit of Almighty God. Spirit of Almighty God. Spirit of Almighty God.
name of Jesus, we have everything we need. And just as we've sung about him as Jehovah Jireh, our provider, he is Jehovah Rapha, the God. God that heals us. Give the Lord thanks to him. Go back to the doctor. Go to the doctor to test you again. Go home now.